This video is going to show you how to use the new VeloComp app to set up your AeroPod or PowerPod. Before launching the app, turn on your AeroPod or PowerPod, then launch the app. After a few seconds, the main screen will appear, and you'll see the X on the sensor turn to a check mark. This means that the app has paired to your AeroPod or PowerPod. I click the down button, and I can select from many different kinds of bikes. I'm going to select the time trial bike. I'm going to put in the bicycle weight, which is 19 pounds. I'm going to put in my tire size, which is 700 by 32 C. I'm going to put in my height, which is six foot two inches. And my weight, which I wish was 180, but it's more like 202. And my FTP. Now this is a factor that we use in the bicycle computer screen. If you don't know what it is, don't worry. But mine is about 195. I finished entering all the information. I touched the rider info page, and now I'm going to touch save at the top right. This will save the data on the AeroPod or your PowerPod. I've written a profile to my device. I'm gonna activate it, and now that information is transmitted to your AeroPod. Now remember, this is a new profile, which means that I still have to pair this device to my speed and bike sensors on my bicycle, and then I need to do a calibration ride. All right, so I've now set up my AeroPod for profile number one, which is time trial bike. Let's go over to profile number three, which is my road bike, which is already set up. I select that, there's my road bike information, and now what's happened is that the app has pulled off the profile data from my AeroPod. So I don't have to enter anything. I can check to make sure that it's all okay. And my FTP is 192. Go back to Rider Info. Now, if I touch the Save button here, I will save that data and I will select Bicycle Profile Number 3. Now, very importantly, because I have already done a calibration ride on my road bike, I don't have to do it again. Everything is done. What I've basically done is moved my AeroPod from Profile 1 over to Profile 3 and saved all of its settings. And remember, if I want to go back to Profile 1, I can select Profile 1, go back, save it. Now I've moved over to my time trial bike where I still have to do my calibration ride. It's pretty simple. When I'm riding my bicycle, if I click the Ride button, I'll see the bike computer screen, and I happen to have my iPhone mounted in a pretty cool place on my bike, so I like carrying it and seeing it on top. This screen runs the bike computer and reads the settings from your PowerPod or AeroPod during the ride. I can see my wattage power, my bicycle speed, number of calories I've burned, the distance I've traveled, my cadence if I have a cadence sensor, and down at the bottom is a pointer which basically shows your percentage of FTP. When you're in the yellow zone, you're up at your 100% FTP. If you're doing interval training, it goes in the zones. This is exactly analogous to power zones that you've read about in uh, Andy Coggin and Hunter Allen's book. When I'm done with the ride, I just click done, and I go back to the main screen. We do not save the data from the bike computer, but that data is probably recorded someplace else on your Garmin or your Wahoo, whatever. That's all there is to the app.